I was pleased to see that she was on board because we had to teach Hannah all about stealing and how wrong it was. So this is our supermarket. Okay, so where do our tins go? In the supermarket. Up there. Okay. As soon as we started to improvise, I could see that Deb's attitude started to change. So I think the stiff talk did some good and now we can start to make some real progress. And innocently, she feels that she can just take it and it's okay. But we need to teach her that it's wrong to do that. And we're going to do that by teaching her exactly what we do in, in the real world, in the adult world, and how we pay for things. Hannah was the shopper, and I was the cashier, and Joe was the uh, shop owner. We gave Hannah some money and a little basket so she could put some food in it and take it to the cashier. We have tomato. Hannah was a little confused at first. Excuse me, we need to pay for these first. Excuse me, did you throw something in there that we didn't pay for? Oh, my word, excuse me, madam. We need to pay for the apple first. Yeah. Excuse me, shall I call the manager? That's stealing. That is stealing. We had to set a firm example, but one that would be fun so that she would remember and know that stealing is wrong. Are you going to pay for it? Yeah. All right, okay. It looks like you owe $5. Yes. She loved it. She had so much fun with it. And this was a great technique to teach Hannah not to steal. You have a nice day, ma'am. So long. You're a good little shopper. So you paid all of this with money? Yeah. Hannah got it. She, she understood that mommy can't give you that until I physically pay for it with money. When we're in the supermarket or in the shops, and we pick things up, we have to pay for them. Because because if we just take them and we don't pay for them, it's stealing. That's a really bad thing to do. Would you like to have a go be in the cashier now? Yeah. Okay, and mommy do the shopping? Yeah. Okay, let's do that. After teaching Hannah that stealing is wrong, I recognised that Mr. Policeman himself was having a hard job reinforcing rules in his own home. No, you're not good. No, 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 what? Sit. No. Sit here for not listening to me for the fifth time. Sit. No. Sit. No. Let's go. Put the ball away. Sit there until I tell you to get up where you're not going to do anything for the rest of the day. You're standing up and now you're not going to ride your bike. No. Sit. No, nope, you're done. You're not riding your bike. No. I don't care. No. Until you sit there quietly, you're not getting out. So sit there quietly. Stop kicking the door. Sarah was putting up a fight, so I took Dad to the side to teach him how to teach Sarah that he meant business. What you're doing is you're feeding into all of that. She's sitting there doing time, knows she's misbehaving, and now she can draw everyone to her situation. I love my kids, but I gotta have the ability to lay down some rules. If you don't rise above it, Hi, Daddy. then it won't change. Hi, Daddy. So now what do you do if she just keeps running out here? You ignore and put back. I mean, Joe was doing well, but I want to be able to teach him how to discipline without saying a word. <laughs> kind of the hardest part is just sticking with the discipline thing and trying to get them to stay in the corner and not get too frustrated and uh, give up on Your time was up, wasn't it? Yeah. So you should follow through because then she knows that you're doing this technique. You know why you're sitting here? Dad is learning how to stand up for himself and discipline correctly. And the more he follows through and is consistent, the more his kids are going to start to listen to him and respect him. Daddy. Come on. Go. With the techniques in place, it's time for me to leave and to see exactly how well they do without me. I am leaving for a couple of days. All right, but, but know this, I am going to be watching. Okay, you know the drill. And I'll see you on my return. Okay, take care. It's going to be interesting to see exactly how well the Citarella family do on their own because we do still have a lot of teaching to do. Coming up on Super Nanny. Can Hannah go to the store without stealing? 
What would that be if we just walked out the door with it? You did the easier thing, and that's to hold him. And Joe teaches Mom to deal with a meltdown at mealtime. Now he knows he's got to scream for double the time before you hold him again. When Super Nanny returns. But first, a tip from Super Nanny. Are you stuck at work until after your young ones are asleep? If so, pack a few of their favorite books and take them to work with you so that when bedtime rolls around, you can read them a bedtime story. They'll be pleased to hear your voice before they get a good night's sleep. 